gonna see some good stuff, but before we get going, we all have a lot to be thankful for being in this company. I feel we're very thankful to be in the company, but more than anything, I wanna thank Michael Valdez for letting Glenn, myself, and Jason have a little bit of the stage. All right, so thank you, Michael, appreciate it. So when we, when we think about um, growth, so what I'm gonna go through today, I'm gonna show you kind of what we did in the third quarter. I'm gonna show you what we've done year to date, and then I'm gonna show you kind of what's happened in this company. And it's all about growth, all right? It's all about really profitable growth because when we make money off what we do, we can keep going. We don't have to bring on debt. We can keep growing and we can make big decisions ourselves. So talking about growth, as we look in just the Q3 alone, we added 11,764 agents, which is fantastic. So if you, if you put those numbers up against some of our competition, I mean, we added more agents in the quarter than they have, right? So the model's working really well, strong US residential performance, global expansion, as you'll hear about, and then scaling ESP commercial. So when, I, when you look at the numbers that I'm gonna go through right now, what you're gonna see is that the, the growth story continues in a big way, all right? So congratulations, I gotta tell you, this is personally, as you can tell, I've been working for quite a while, and this is the best growth company, the best culture that I've ever worked in. And I think when you see the numbers here, and you can see what we can do and where we're going, um, we can back it up. So on the first page, in the quarter, in Q3, we did $1.1 billion in revenue. And everybody loves billion, right? We love billion, billion? So that's almost up 100% year over year in the quarter. Our gross profit, which is the money that we make after we pay all our bills, was about $80 million, so up 70%. Net income was 23.8, so these are, these are kind of metrics that we look at, the market looks, looks at, 50 cents earnings per share, up 50% year over year. And then our adjusted EBITDA, and again, I'm not, this won't be an accounting lesson today, but when we look at our business, we use this number, it's, and, and it was 23.1 million, to see how we're really doing, because it really takes out all the non-cash expenses to the balance sheet, so if, uh, to, the, to the income statement. So when you think back a couple years ago, I mean, there was a big thing going around that, you know, the company will never make it, it's not profitable. A big reason for that is because when we do stock compensation for our agents and for everybody, it's a non-cash expense that hits our balance sheet, our, our income statement, apologies again. So when you take that out, that's really how we're going. 23.1 is really how we're going. And the, the big news and a really positive thing about being here is that we gen the, the model generates cash flow. So we have, like I mentioned, no debt on the balance sheet, and we're able to kind of invest, give back, and do what we want to do because we control our own destiny, and we don't see that change at any time soon. So this, this is a bit, of, it's a bit of an eye chart, but I want, what I want to do is I want to take you through how we kind of run the business and how that results in the financials, all right? So we have two types of key metrics. One are operating metrics, and the second one is financial metrics. All right, so when we look at operating metrics, and you've heard Glenn say this a lot, we really use NPS to run the business, okay? And our thought process is that if, if, if our agents are satisfied, if we're doing the right thing, if our employees are satisfied doing the right thing, then the rest of the stuff below this line takes care of itself, all right? So, and I was actually, just a quick story, I was talking to somebody from Microsoft the other day, and so what did you do? You like, start talking about how you used MPS, and so what did you do? Oh, well, we were at a minus 20. And then we, we did all this stuff and we got to a 30, right? We almost went suicidal in the third quarter because our, our score went from 73 year over year to 69. So if you look up MPS, these are world-class scores, and, but that's our goal to keep them 70 or above and, and the rest takes care of itself. Agent count, 65, 269. Obviously that's huge, up 82% in the quarter, and that stays for the year to date. Our units were 130, the sides were 130,029, and you can see that that's up 82% on a quarter basis, and on a year basis, it would be the, um, I'm sorry, 72%, and then on a year basis, we're up 103%. So price per unit, as we know, the price is going up, that's in thousands, so what that does is it actually drives volume in billions. So our, our, our volume, 
in the third quarter was $46.6 billion versus 23.6. So we're up, again, about 100% on volume. And then as we look at our year to date, we're up 134%. So this company has done $111 billion year to date, all right? So fantastic results. When we look at financial metrics, the 1.1 billion I mentioned before, and I'll, I'll put some, some of these numbers into perspective in a second and show you kind of what we were doing in the past. Uh, 1.1 billion up 97%. On a year to date basis, we've done $2.7 billion in revenue up 127%, so that's fantastic. So the growth is incredible, and it continues. And you got, you know, you've done a phenomenal job growing this company, so thank you as we go. So down the line, these are like, these are net, these are um, income statement numbers. So the reason I have these numbers up is that, you know, it's, you know we're up 127% year to date, but the model that Glenn created really is to give back pretty much all, everything we bring in for the most part, at the same time keep the, the company in a good place. So that number, so that 1.1 billion in the quarter, we gave back over a billion dollars. Not gave back, but I mean that's the model. It goes back to our agents, okay? So we do, we do hear a lot about you know, the growth of the company, the 1.1 billion dollars, but at the end of the day, Two big things happened is we, we you know the model's designed to give back to you and that's what we do and at the same time I, we're sharing a number we i don't think we shared before and so this is including that billion dollars we paid out 48.7 million dollars in rev share in this quarter alone that's up 73 percent year to date on the, on the quarter and on the year to date basis we paid out $124 million in rev share. All right, so again, looking at the numbers, I mean, it's up 90% 90, 90 year over year. And what, you know, and, and the way the model works, we have no intention on changing it. As we double, that doubles, right? As, as, as the revenue doubles, the commission goes back on a double basis. So then we get to what we call gross margin. All right, so this is how the model's designed, right? is to give as much as we can back to the agents through commission, through rev share, through all sorts, you know, stock, equity. And then we have some money left to run the company with. All right, and that's what, that, so our gross margin in the business in the quarter was 7.2%, right? So by, on purpose, and I mean, the, the, one of the reasons it's lower, traditionally it's been in the nine to 10% range. And one of the reasons it's lower is because we got a cap at $16,000, right? You have higher, higher um, uh, housing prices, and so that, that gross margin goes down. So what we're doing as a, as a leadership team is we're looking at this, and you know, we just want to make sure what we're doing is we're investing with the rest of the money that we have, and we are. All right, I'll go through some of that, but you know, we're investing heavily in the U.S., we're investing in international, we're investing in commercial, we're investing in technology. All right, so get, getting down to net income, I mean, I, I showed you that EBITDA line, and then our operating cash flow was 55.4 million, up 44%. Operating cash flow was up 156. So that's what that is, is that that's money from our operations as we run this business. This is the cash that comes back. And we do a lot of things with those cash. And I'll, and I'll explain that in a second. So phenomenal results. I mean, as we look at the year and we look at where we are as a company, I mean, the growth is spectacular, right? We're really fortunate to be able to have some profit left over to reinvest in the company, and that's exactly what we're doing. So as we look down the road, you know, you, you, Glenn just shared the, you know, the 500,000 agents. Um, that's where we're spending the money. You know, the international growth, commercial, technology, and then going to the next page, this gives you a perspective, especially for the new people that are here. So this is, this is a growth chart, and to put things in perspective, in 2018, we had 15.5 15, 15 thousand agents, revenue at $500 million, all right? So you can follow that line up, you know, we go to a billion dollars, 25,000 agents, we go to 41,000 agents, 1.8 billion, and on a year-to-date basis, in 2021, we're at $2.7 billion in revenue with the 68,000 plus agents, so fantastic job. Like, it's, it, it's an incredible story, so thank you.
A few things, um, some recent highlights, and you've heard in the press and you've seen, uh, we've all talked about it, is that the cash dividend. And so that's just, that's more, some of our cash going back to our investors and most of the people that are investors in this room right now. All right? And the other thing it does too is it shows, unless you have that cash in your business, unless your, your business is healthy and you can generate cash to give out, right? And it's, it's just another, you know, another proof that this is, you know, a healthy, growing business that is giving back to our agents and our, and our investors. Established success, you're gonna hear a lot about it. Glenn and the team is here. So this is, you know, affiliated services. You look at these numbers, there's zero, relatively zero contribution from affiliated services. So we've been so busy growing, that, and we've tried a lot of things, but we're gonna get it right. And when we get it right, there's a lot more profit to go back into the business and then again share through different areas with our agents. Share buybacks, a few years ago, probably the biggest black eye we had was we, we, we were told, you know, you can't dilute the company like you're diluting, putting more shares and more shares out. So we came up with a buyback plan three years ago and really happy to say right now that we have offset dilution 100%. So, so what that means is that's really good for all of us in this room as shareholders, all right? So you, you own more of the company as we buy this back, or, or at least you don't, you don't dilute your ownership. So that's great news. Talked about this stuff, our investing continues. I mentioned in, the, in Q3, um, we invest about $10 million in Q3, 25 million year to date in these areas. So uh, domestic, uh, realty, global expansion, commercial, technology innovations, you know, Verbellas, you're gonna hear about it more. I mean, it's, it's been a phenomenal tool for us. And it, we continue to invest in it. Those guys are doing a fantastic job. A lot of technology investment going on right now, and that's gonna get us to uh, those numbers that we talked about. So, last page. Everybody talks about the stock price, all right? Everybody says, well, you, why is it, you know, I, I get, I get, we get sometimes not so, so nice letters when the stock goes down. But you have to kind of put it in perspective, all right? And what I do is I look at valuations. And, the, and the, a quick story is when I came here in 2018, I looked at Redfin and I looked at us. And I'm like, what's, what's wrong here? This doesn't make any sense at all. How could they be valued? I think at the time they were valued at like maybe $2.5, $3 billion. We're valued at 400 million, which is crazy, right? So over the last few years, not only have we executed in the business, all right, we've actually grown the business. The growth is the important thing. We, we've done a lot of great things from an investment standpoint. We've had return to our investors, and that's what happens, okay? So as a, you know, I can't tell. I look, you know, I look at the stock price the odd time myself, uh, to be honest with you. But when you look at what's happened in the company, from a valuation standpoint, look at the valuations. Next time you're online, what I do is I look at What's, happened, what's going on with Zillow? What's happening with Redfin? What's happening with, you know, there's about 10 competitors that we look at, all right? Look at that, and basically what's happened in our particular class of, you know, uh, public companies, Redfin's at least a billion five lower than us now, all right? And this is just the start. So, we, so one of our goals was to get the valuation on par with companies like that, but if you look at these numbers, we spent a lot of time working really hard to get this set up. We're still, still working really hard. But 2018, 2019, you know, $800 million was the valuation in 2019. $4.7 billion. And as of yesterday, um, we're at $6.7 billion of valuation. So, if you think about people that came early, you know, at, at, at $200 million, if they held, hopefully you hold on, you held on to your stock. Hopefully nobody sold in here, right? We're at 6.7 billion, it's a big deal. And I think we're being valued for a couple of things. Our growth model, all right? And the second thing is that we're, we're, we're running the business profitably. And, and as you can see from the numbers I just showed you, we're not, we don't got a lot of profit in this and that's the model. It's a growth model, all right? And that's, that, and we're staying there and that's what we wanna do. We're, you know, Glenn, the team and everybody, we're, we're, all we're focused on really is growing, all right? But at the same time, maintaining a solid company. So we're here this time next year with 10,000 people or 20,000 people, all right? 
So I want to I congratulate you. Um, I've got to tell you, again, this is one of the best companies I've ever been in, probably the best. And I'm really fortunate to be here. So thank you very much, and have a great week.